will take the free kick as we say a warm West Australian good evening to Dennis Kometi. Den. The Foundation Day holiday saw the Crows in Perth and from start to finish the Crows were in complete control. Understand perfectly. I was there yesterday. Kicked out of Woods half forward. Giving a hand to it, Clement. Waiting behind, kick it. He's in the back pocket. Dale kick it. Still going. Spills across. Robran. Nicely done. Stood up in the tackle. Liptak goes goalward. And I think he's got it. Matthew Liptak. Goal. There's a theory that uh, some prefer the hit and run tactics, Ross. And others will come a day or so earlier. As that kick goes in towards goal, that looks pretty good from Mark Rusciuto. And the Adelaide Crows have got another one. Plays on quickly to Nigel Smart. He boots in towards Modra territory. Got a hand to it. was right with him. Couldn't take it. Almost thrown out towards Vardy. Does some nice elusive work and chips away from 35 metres for another one. It was a day in which Peter Vardy made his presence felt. He'd kick four and notch up 22 possessions. Rusciuto didn't have the ball. Edwards. Back to Vardy. Vardy about 65 out. Telling long kick. It's a goal. What a beauty. It's been a problem for the Dockers. Working it out of defence. Wren directs it down to Kim Costa. Costa back towards half forward. Edwards worked under it by Kickett. Waiting behind the lip tack to Vardy. Vardy breaks through half forward. 40 metres up. Closing. Kicks the goal. He's having a big night. Pittman. Second attempt, Bickley knocked it away. Vardy directed it down to Rusciuto. Costa now confronted, gets by kick. It's brilliantly done. Vardy swings it wider. Robran feeds it back towards the middle. Awkward one for Edwards. He's about 20 oh. metres out. Gives it to Robran. The look away hand pass with the treat. While Modra was well held, Robran was outstanding. 20 possessions and five goals capped a memorable day. Beautifully, he got a lovely bounce and he deserves a goal and he's got it. Great play by Robran. Fantastic. One of the best in the league. It has absorbed the water as if it was non-existent. Now this ball is delivered back towards Bickley in the middle. He's got to beat a couple. Comes wide to Jarman, back to Nigel Smart. A little bit of time for Smart to set something up. In fact, more than a little. Here's danger. Robran's loose at half forward. He's only got to get round. He's left it a long time. He hooks it back now, but Robran is there, and he takes the mark. To the centre half forward, and he can stretch this as Pittman comes off for Wren. It looks pretty good. It is good for Matthew Robran, and he has kicked four. Scotty Chisholm doesn't always play by the rules. Gets it to himself. Hand passes to Allen. Allen, forward of the back pocket, up towards centre half back. A long time in the air. Costa knocked it down in front. James, Robran on the bounce. It's taken by Vardy, kicking at his fourth. It's not a bad effort, I tell you what. Andy, a couple of him on the forward line and on the ball. Robran acts it out of midair. It's been a cornerstone of the Crows tonight. They kick the last four goals and they move the ball quickly. It comes back to Robran, who snaps at his fifth. He's got it. Seven goals up at three-quarter time, the Crows would win their sixth from ten games and move into third place on the ladder. Over the top, and they punish the mistakes tonight. Edwards does it this time. Kicks a goal for the Crows. They're on the half-back line at the moment with seconds ticking away. Durko takes it from his teammate Chisholm. He goes wide into the outer side to Sinclair, but it's all over. Big winners are the Adelaide Crows. Robran five, Vardy four, Rusciuto, Robran and McLeod the best. Also, it was the first time the club got to Perth and had won a game of footy. One of the most amazing things happened that night was that we were supposed to go back the following mid-morning lunchtime. We got a call. We were on the late flight, a uh, very early flight that morning. So some of the celebration that we, I'm sure the players would have had and you know, everyone would have had was confined to a room in the hotel with just the, the bowels of the footy club in it. It was a priceless four or five hours that actually melded a football club together. There was singing, there was drinking, there was camaraderie that I hadn't seen at the club in my time there. And it just seemed to just envelop everybody. It was just a fantastic night in Perth. Edwards. Clears the uh, wing area. Robran has been back to the MCG. This time, bottom placed Melbourne. No quarter asked, none given, as the Crows piled on six first.